All right, guys, so here we are shooting on my phone. Of course, they gave me a license plate ticket. Man, that was one awesome nap. Got home from work, took a nice nap, and great, it's starting to rain. God. But next thing we gotta do is we have to install this fuel pump. And it's not really a bad job. So I'm gonna take the car out of the garage because I don't wanna be sniffing gas fumes this whole entire install. Well, I probably am anyways. But this install really isn't all that bad. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a full tutorial install video. There's a whole bunch of them out there. But yeah, this is one of the last pieces that are needed for me to start logging for this tune. But here we go. Let's go ahead and just do this. Some two clips should be down here somewhere. There we go. Another clip down here. There you go. See if you come right out. All right, time to take this cover off. And there's just four Phillips head screws that are in there. Ah, oh, man, I am tired. You know, this is around that time of year where things just start getting crappier and crappier. Well, I shouldn't say crappy. I mean, life isn't that bad right now, to be honest with you, looking at the bright side. But, you know, car stuff is pretty much, I don't know, done, but comes to a halt around this time of year. Rain starts getting crappy. Knees weak, arms are heavy, you name it. You know, even um, this local track that I was trying to get into, I mean, they're gonna shut down until early next year. I didn't get all this stuff done in time. Still need tires. Still need to get all those oil mods done. Man, there's a lot of stuff to do. Well, I guess that can wait till next season. So we get stuck down in there in those little brackets. There's a little great connector here. We're just gonna undo that. There you go. That's out. Get that out the way. So I don't know if you guys can see this. You got three lines, one, two, three. All of those gotta come out. And then a whole bunch of eight millimeter nuts that gotta come out. Should have my rags. Make sure you guys have some rags available. Should have done that first. Eight millimeter. Now your fuel pump can come out, or your fuel pump assembly. Now keep in mind when you do this, you're gonna wanna be at less than half a tank. You know, I tried this on over full tank of gas, and gas just spilled out everywhere. Yeah. Make sure to watch out for the float that's in there. Also, keep in mind, make sure you guys do this in a well-ventilated area. I gotta do it in my garage, cause, you know, it's what I got and it's raining outside. Cause it's shitty Washington weather that people from here fucking love. And they complain that there's no car show stuff, whatever. But we're gonna undo all these tabs so that we can take this upper receiver or whatever you call it off and we can get going. Well, let's undo these electrical connections first. Oh man, look at all that gas. Oh, there's still a bunch of gas in there too. Look at that car's brand new and look at all that crap that's in there. Just look at all that dirt. Get you in focus. Is it focusing? No, probably not. So this right here, this is the fuel pump. Right here, this is the part that we're trying to get out. But first, I think I have to undo the C-clips. Look at that small little clip. 
Don't lose that clip, by the way. All right, just be careful with that clip. If you try to just yank it off, it might fly somewhere. You'll never find it. There's four clips. There's still gas coming out. There's two clips in there. And I think there's two more on the actual body of the fuel pump. Ah, finally. There you go. Cool, sweet. All right, it's these two clips that are in here, you gotta spread them out away from the fuel pump to get this fuel pump out because these two clips right here are resting on those two white outside clips. Kind of hard to explain, but you'll see it if you guys do this installation. Um, let's see, we might need this O-ring. Put that aside. Yeah, that's your stock fuel pump. You're not gonna need this no more. Hmm. O-rings, your wiring harness. I hope this is a plug and play kit. And one thing to note about the AEM340, it is compatible with not only regular gas, but also ethanol, like E85, up to E100, and methanol. I'm just gonna use one of the new O-rings. One, if I put it on there like that, is just about enough to get into the little groove in there. Two just seems like it's a little too much. So I guess one it is. One AEM uh, O-ring that comes with the kit and the stock spacer. It's in there pretty good. There's no play or anything. Next up is fuel sock. It's fuel sock and your little retainer clip that's in there. This you're not gonna need. There you go. It's supposed to go over this little notch right here. That retaining clip goes over that. So you see what I mean? Once you put it in how they want you to put it in, this fuel sock might get in the way of this line. So food for thought. And you just fold it up like that. That should work. There you go. This little top green thing, make sure not to forget that. It is notch, so you can't put it in the wrong way. Well, you can, but just make sure you put this little notch right here into the notch. Make sure that O-ring seats correctly. While you're doing this, make sure not to damage your float. Don't forget your seal. You do not want to forget that. Make sure you put it in float first. You can see this float. All right. 
right, just put everything back. Make sure you have two lines going forward, one line going back. Also, make sure that you have the gasket oriented properly with this little uh, retaining bracket. So you have the bolt holes and you have these little notches in the gasket. So otherwise you won't get a proper seal. So just to give you a better idea of what I'm talking about, these little pegs or notches. So you have one here at about 11, one between two and three o'clock, and then one down here between six and seven o'clock. So you wanna make sure that those are inside of those holes so that you get a nice proper seal. There you go. Now I'm just gonna plug my uh, fuel lines in, um, tighten these down, just hand tight. I think they're rated about, I don't know, three to five foot pounds. So don't try to torque them down really tight. You might break those, it might, might be a bad day for you. Since we're done with the fuel pump, we wanna cycle the fuel pump a couple times. Make sure to listen for it. Don't install your seat just yet. So we're gonna turn on. Turn down your radio, of course. I can hear it running. Let's give it a good start. Oh, a little hesitation there at the beginning, huh? All right, so one thing we're gonna do is check the access port for our numbers. It says my fuel pump duty is at 33.3. Let me just blip the throttle a little bit. See if that changes. All right, so it looks like everything is working. Let's check our fuel pressure. Fuel pressure. And it says I have, cool, 40 PSI. There you go, we should be good to go. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Salt and pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday.